Hey you guys, happy Sunday. I was just sitting here getting my power hour done and um, thinking about my coaching journey and how as it goes along, it's sometimes easy to forget about keeping it simple. So I just wanted to give you guys a few tips, share a few pointers, especially for newer coaches, you know, who have gone through the training and kind of what to do next. So what my power hour looks like to me is um, I'm diving into my inbox, I'm posting consistently each day, I'm answering and supporting coaches in our team pages, and um, plugging away in there as well. Also, one thing that's been huge for me is writing everything down in my planner, and that can look like when to follow up with somebody, when our Zooms are, uh, when my next challenge group is, literally writing down everything, when I need to promote something. Uh, this really has helped me stay organized. I used to have post-it notes all over the house and trying to keep things up in my head, and obviously that doesn't work, and that is not a great strategy for organizational purposes. So I encourage you to find a way that works for you. I know that there are some coaches who you know, voice record themselves when thoughts come up and then when, once they get back to their office or they get into, um, you know, a place where they can write things down, they take those notes and add them to their planner. So find a way that works for you. Um, find a way that is going to help you stay organized and that um, goes with your schedule and your lifestyle. Um, I also want to remind all of you guys that have gone through the 21 day you know, group, the training group, to ask questions, plug into Be Misfit, your Uplines page, um, and really get connected with the team. One thing that I did um, after I started coaching was I let fear paralyze me. Like literally, I went through the training and it was a different training than it is now and I was like, what do I do next? Like, how, how do I go through this? I don't, I don't even know what to do. And I encourage you to plug into the team page, plug into um, the trainings, plug into the national wake up call, personal development. These were all things that I was doing minus the personal development until about four months into my coaching journey, but plug in, dive in and um, you know, I dove into everything and it really made a huge difference in my business. I didn't hit success club my first two months as a coach and I've hit it every month since. Like I realized how important that goal is too, um, by helping three people each month get started on their fitness journey. So with that being said, it is so hard to watch a new coach, um, you know, not dive in after this training. And it hits me on a personal level too because I was that coach. I let that fear hold me back and paralyze me and created all these stories in my head. What are people gonna think? What do I do next? And all that's crap. Like all that is stuff that we make up. 90% of it doesn't, 99% of it doesn't exist and doesn't happen. So. I really encourage you to let go of that fear and just start. Um, let people know that you're a Beachbody coach. Get excited about it. Like this is something amazing. We are not out there selling vacuums or knocking door to door with people. You know, we are doing something that has the potential to change other people's lives as well as our own. Like my life has changed so much from the inside because of coaching. You know, the outside stuff is great, but the inside, like that's where the growth and the magic happens. So I just encourage you guys to find a way to share that you are a coach if you haven't. Um, we've got examples in Be Misfit in the file section. Find other coaches who inspire you and see how they share their journey. And, you know, make it your own, but find inspiration through them. And then also, um, you know, find a way to share this in a way that's you. Either your transformation story or your personal growth story or something that's, you know, made an impact on your family's lives. Like there are so many ways to change, the, to share what this has done for you, whether it's, you know, some of us don't have 
a 50 pound transformation loss and that's okay. Like you don't need to have certain things to make coaching um, inspiring and life changing to you or your family or your followers. So I encourage you, if you have not shared your story or that you are a coach, to do that. I do it this week. Do it now. Like get get out there and do it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I can make these videos. Nikki can. Your upline can. But it is up to you. It's up to you to plug in. It's up to you to dive in, and it's up to you to make a difference in your life and make a change. Um, for yourself. No one can do this for you. You know, we, we can guide you and support you and help you, but it is up to you to get out of your own way, to let go of that fear. And just by helping three people a day, Success Club, like that is a must in this business if this is something that you want to do. And it's a ripple effect. As you help those three people and they get results, they're potentially going to want to become a coach. So, you know, no matter what this journey is for you, no matter where you want it to take you, just let fear go and plug in, dive in. Know that you are up to some great things. Like, enjoy this. Enjoy the process. It is a roller coaster. Don't get too high or too low. Just stay the course and enjoy it. Um, and also, if you are someone who's been coaching for a while and you've kind of, you know, slacked off or let it go, I encourage you to start now too. Start tomorrow. Get on the national wake up call. We have this every Monday. Get on the team calls. Plug into the team pages. Get to know other coaches on the team. Find a schedule that works for you and have a fresh start. Like, really, have a fresh start and have fun with this. Um, you know, there are small things that you're going to do in the business each day that add up to big things. Like we tell our challengers that all the time, not to focus on those huge, big goals. Yes, they're great to have, and it's the stuff that you do each day, in and out, that is going to get you there. So... Have fun with it. I challenge you to share your story, plug into trainings, and if you're a new coach who's gone through the training group, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I know that it's easy to hear me say that, but I live that too. Like I sat behind this computer and did nothing. And I'll tell you guys, 14 months into this business, my sister is overweight and obese and has health issues and she is starting the 21 day fix tomorrow and it's um really 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 empowering and inspiring and um motivating for me to see that in 14 months which is a short time and it feels like a lifetime sometimes that it really does pay off like my goal in this was to get my sister to a healthier spot. I was never going to give up and I'm never going to quit coaching, but that was one of my goals. And 14 months later, it's happening. And I'm so, so, so proud of her and excited for her. And, you know, if it wasn't for coaches on our team and being inspired by you guys, like none of this would have happened. Know that you are a part of a ripple effect that is bigger than you even realize. Like you're touching people's lives on a whole different level. And that is amazing. Embrace it. Be excited about it. Share that you're a coach. Help three people each month. You guys, I promise it is life-changing. So anyways, thank you for listening to this. And I will talk to you all later. Have a great night.